Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Spider, and welcome back to another mini review, the shorter, simpler versions of my regular reviews. And today, I'm going to be taking a look at the McDonald's Transformers Animated Lug Nut. Yeah. Uh, now, I don't have the packaging for this anymore because well, who keeps McDonald's packaging? But, anyways, on to the figure. So, here we have Lug Nut, and this. Toy is based off of his appearance in the 2007 show Transformers Animated, a show I've actually seen, and it's pretty good. But back to the toy. So here we got him, and uh, this was one of six toys that McDonald's made for Transformers Animated. Uh, in total, they made Optimus, Megatron, uh, Starscream, Ratchet, Bumblebee, and this guy. But I only have this guy, and that's what we're going to talk about. Yeah, we're gonna get a closer look up here. We got the uh, the jet mode. Yeah, that's a little better. Got the jet mode. Looks pretty cool. Got a little got a little Decepticon symbol there, picked out in gold, which looks very very nice. We got the windows, which is unpainted beneath whatever. You got the turrets sculpted on the side. You got one on the top. You got the wings. Which is pretty cool. Most, most of them is in a dark purple, but the, uh, the tips of the wings and the back is made in this kind of silver, silvery, metallic, light green color. Which looks pretty dang cool. Yeah, you got the missiles, which do not like to stay up anymore. They just got super loose, so yeah, whatever. But they are green with a little yellow stripe around them. Whoops, I dropped Here's the bottom. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, overall, this doesn't look bad at all. It's actually pretty cool. It's a very nice, neat little jet. And uh, I think it was the best alt mode uh, out of the six figures that they made. So, yeah, at least in my opinion, it was. It looks pretty dang cool. I mean, even the bottom, like, there's... I mean, there's, yeah, there's, like, stuff, but you can't really tell what it is. So, yeah, jet mode. Very nice. I quite like it. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Now on to size comparisons. All right, to start off size comparisons, here it is with a Lego minifigure. The pack destruction minifigure Mothra. And with the pack destruction... Minifigure Godzilla. Now, measuring time. Ow. <laughs> I slammed the thing on my finger. That hurt a little bit. So the jet mode is about four and a half inches long. And the wings are also about four and a half inches long. So, yeah. It's a decent sized little McDonald's toy. Now, onto the transformation. Now, y'all, 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 are y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this transformation? It's gonna be the most complicated transformation you ever seen in your life, I guarantee it. Alright, you ready? You ready? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it. That's, that's pretty much it for that. You just got a little. Yeah, flip the thing, then flip the other thing, and then you're done. So, yeah, and you have this little lug nut figure. And uh, not too much uh, new detail revealed, it's just kind of the head. You can see that. You got a little lug nut face. It's a little two eyes on the side, but only the main eye is painted. See that there? Get the big red eye. And this big old chest. Look at that. Thing sticks out further than Shockwave's chest. Anyhow, you got these little missiles, which I guess are supposed to be like his arms, but eh. I mean, I guess technically his missiles did kind of turn into the arms in the show, so accurate? And then you got this one big leg. Yeah, he doesn't 
have two legs. He's just got one big one. So just yeah, and uh, that's pretty much how most of them were. Uh, I think out of the six, Starscream was the only one to actually have individual legs. Yeah, so you got a little leg piece there. Yeah, the back. And inside of there, you got some words. I don't know if you'll be able to read any of them. You can kind of see there's some words in there, so that's nice. Yeah, overall, that's pretty much it for the robot mode. There's not really much to say about it. Just looks interesting. So, yeah. On to size comparisons part two. So, once again, here it is with a Lego minifigure. Pack of destruction Mothra. Hey, she didn't fall forward. I mean, she did, but she went back normal. And pack of destruction Godzilla. And finally, what the heck, compare it with another McDonald's figure, the Bonaclamari Nuparu. Or Naparu. Whatever, I don't remember. So that's it for that. Now, measuring time part two. Well, I'm going to measure his height because his shoulders, I guess, is the same as the wingspan. So, he is... About a bit closer to his head. Yeah. A little over four inches. So, yeah. Not too big, but then again, McDonald's figure. So, yeah. But, yeah. That's pretty much it for Lugnut. And overall, he's been, he's been nice. You know, for what he is, he's pretty decent. You know, it also helps that this is back in the time when McDonald's would make, you know, actually decent or half decent toys with their happy meals you know so yeah he's pretty cool and uh for the longest time this is actually my only lug nut figure <laughs> this is all i had to represent the character in my collection thankfully i've gotten the actual figure and uh yeah it's a little better just just a smidge just a little bit better <laughs> but uh yeah that's Pretty much it. Now, if you wanted this figure for yourself, first of all, why? It's a McDonald's toy. But if you really wanted it, it's like 10 bucks on eBay. So, go crazy. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all I can say for a good old lug nut here. Uh, now, before I end this review, I do want to say one thing. Uh, I just wanted to apologize for not uh, posting a review on Friday. Uh, I just... Uh, the night before was not very good. Uh, for some reason, my allergies decided to go ballistic uh, in the middle of the night. So, like, I was... My nose was plugged, couldn't breathe properly. I, mean, I could still breathe, but not, you know, super well. And because of that, I wasn't able to sleep. And, uh, yeah, just, it was not a, not a good time. So, yeah, I didn't wind up falling asleep until, like, the early morning. And, uh... Yeah, and I wound up just sleeping through most of the day, so... Yeah, Friday was just not a good time, so I wasn't able to put up a review. But I was still able to get this out, so... Yeah, it's something until next Friday, but whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm rambling on long enough. That has been it for this review. Hope you all enjoyed. See you later. Sayonara. Bye.